Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with a show and tell slash mini review slash suggestions of some holiday kits that I came across or just little holiday things I found in Walgreens. Nothing too fancy um, that I wanted to talk to you about. So get into that. The first one being these little mini palettes from LA Colors. These are the Shine versus Matte palettes. They look like this. They're two dollars. They have about um, five colors, five shades. Um, and what they are are eyeshadow palettes in half of the palette. Hold on, let me put one down. Half of the palette is matte while the other half has a little bit of shimmer to it. Now, I'm a fan of LA Colors shadows. These, I think, are decent stocking stuffers. The two that I had, but, well, decent. It's, it's kind of, let me just calm down. Um, the one I have here is, the two I have here, this, what's it called? Sweet Romance. This is called Sweet Romance. And then the other one is called Close to Nature. Um, I actually like Close to Nature better, the neutral one a little bit better in regards to pigmentation, color payoff, but this one's actually a little bit boring. But if you have someone that would like this, it's $2 to make a great stocking stuffer. The pigmentation is very, very decent. Um, it's not, the pans are really, really small. Remember, this is $2. You're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 eyeshadows for $2. You can't beat it. The pigmentation is not bad at all. It's just it's so small sometimes to get your brush in there. Um, but they're at Walgreens. Eh. Stocking stuffers for someone. Not the worst thing. They could go to try with makeup bag if you don't want to take an expensive eyeshadow palette. But... Eh, I'm just saying, eh. Eh, 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 eh. All right. The next thing that I found, this is from Perfusion, and this is the Highlight 10 set. So it's a 10, and it's full of highlighters. They had one, excuse me, they had one that was contour, but the contour was way too light for me. Nothing would have worked. So you have five highlighters in this palette for $10. And I'm going to tell you something. They're pretty decent, but if you are a person who likes that Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, that MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, that um, Anastasia Glow Kit Highlight where it is packed on, like mine is right now, um, I could go even more packed than this, but like, you know, if you're that person with that, this is not for you. But I will say these have decent, let me swatch. These have decent highlighting capabilities. Very pretty shade range, but they're definitely, I don't want to say natural highlights. Because I don't want to go subtle, but they're definitely, I mean, I guess I put that on super concentrated. But they're definitely, for someone who just loves highlight, but doesn't necessarily like to pack it on. Um, the consistency, they're kind of that powder to cream type of thing almost. Um, you have a shade range in here. Women of color, we can get away with them, but they're not. I'm usually lighter to medium skin. These look like lighter to medium skin to me. Um, but they are pigmented and they're very natural looking on the skin. Very, very nice. You can get a good glow with a fluffy brush. I'm I'm all for that. The pigmentation is there, really nice. But if you're not a, if you're a person that needs to pack it on for it to give you that really intense highlight shine, you're not gonna get it with these. But if you just want a nice highlight of palette with some choices to give you some glow, natural glows, but maybe in a few different tones, different shades, I think this is great for someone like that. For ten dollars, you get the little brush which I have not used. You get this little brush. I mean, how good are they? You know, you get a nice mirror. And I do like, you get five very large highlighters for $10. That's, that's amazing. But someone like me who owns like Anastasia Glow Kits and they're, they're not enough for me. But that's just for me. It's a personal thing. So, yeah. Take that with a grain of salt. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, talking, talking, talking. The next two kits, however, recommend. The first one, I actually got these from Walgreens. These are from Wet n Wild. And Walgreens had Wet n Wild $2 off. So when I got them, instead of $5, they were actually $3. Okay, so the first one is the Wet n Wild, um, what's the name of it? 
New Year's celebration, nailing it. It is a set um, of mini Wet n Wild Mega Last um, nail polishes. This is my favorite formula of nail polish ever. Sorry, you see the reflection of the light in there. This is my favorite formula of nail polish ever. Put it back in here. So you get seven colors, seven beautiful shades for, I mean three dollars, but this is five dollars. The brush is super, super thick, which I like a big brush. You can get your nail painted in two swipes. Your whole nail paint is two swipes. These are medium um, polishes, but they definitely still have a decent size fat brush. Anyone who loves to do their nails or just, yeah, anybody in nail polish, you can't beat it. All the shades, none of the shades are too bright or over the top. Very nice, appropriate shades for whatever. You have a red, a bluish purple, and you have a fuchsia. Then you have a light pink, you have a coral, you have a natural nudie shade, like a natural soft uh, manicure type of shade. And then you have like a grayish. And I couldn't recommend this more. Nothing more to say. Beautiful. And then the next kit from Wet n Wild. This one is the liquid eyeliner set. The Wet n Wild Mega Liner. The only liquid liner. I love this liquid liner. I actually like their waterproof one a little bit better. Just a little bit better. But... I mean, if they never made that anymore, I'm satisfied with this one. You get four shades. You get the black, the brown, the blue, and the purple. It's a very, very thin-tipped brush on this liner. You definitely have control with it. I'm so sorry for the reflection. I have to figure out how to get rid of that. You definitely have control. You definitely, um, there's color payoff. They last all day. Very good pigmentation. It's just with these versus the waterproof, these are easier to come off. Sometimes they might smudge a bit if it's a cryy day type of day, you know. So, um, but, yeah. But then the the waterproof one sometimes a pain in the ass to come off. So pick your battle. Pick your battle. Alright, and then finally, LA Colors came out with this Luminous and Contour kit. These Luminous and Contour kits. Let's go into one. This the Luminous kit. Um, These are $5 a piece. Luminous Shine and Luxurious Glow. So you get six colors in here. You get a brush and you get a tutorial booklet. Um, this is the highlighters, and they're labeled, they have highlights, shimmer, and bronzing, although, let me, I can't even get it off, i put it back on, although in this shade, the bronze part is upside down, um, the pigmentation, honey bunny, I blew me away, however, I'm not a fan of the kit, because, the packaging sucks so you get like this wooden container and then this plastic insert so you have to take these out put them in a z palette or something but then again for five dollars in the pigmentation that they have i'm not that mad about it so yeah it, it's up to you pick your battle but very very nice um i like the bronzing shades for me for highlighting i have been using those it's just the hassle of it the hassle of it is kind of, I don't know. This also, this, you got to keep the plastic cover on this because the box that it comes with is completely open here. It's just, it's $5, I know. And there's pretty decent highlight in here. I haven't used the brush or opened the, the little, you got a little kit, little booklet. I just played with the shades to highlight with them. And it's really nice. Um, although, you can go to Walmart, get yourself a magnetic sheet. And tape this, like cut out this plastic and tape it to here. And you got a little mini Z palette. But if you want to go through all that work, I don't know. That's the only thing. <clears throat> now the contour pack kit, I'm sorry, wasn't exactly my favorite. The contour shade was not deep enough for me. Um, the pigmentation was there as well, but this just didn't work. I had no use for it. So if you, but if you are of the skin tone that this might work for, I would definitely go for it. But for me, it was... I just couldn't really use it. But these are $5 at Walgreens. Um, definitely check them out. It's up to you. But the pigmentation on this luminous one is great. I'm just going to depot them and put them in a Z palette. Put the pans in a Z palette. And that's just how I'm going to have to work it out. So, yeah. I hope those things were a little bit helpful. Just so you know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.